just going to be a quick video um, just showing some of the accessories that I've got with the uh, Canon EOS 500D that I own um, otherwise known as the T1i and KISS X3 too many names um, what I have here um, just currently laid out is there's two batteries, I've got an additional battery because I've got the battery grip and um, the batteries that the uh, camera takes are the LPE5 batteries now I always buy the Canon branded batteries but I do shop around online for um, the best deals on them. The reason why I use the Canon branded ones is firstly I want to know that they're going to perform well and if there's ever any kind of issues regards the electrics as a result of anything wrong with the batteries and so forth I don't want to have to deal with maybe any warranty issues with using any third party batteries so I use the Canon brand ones and I've got here the battery grip you can see the box there for it as well and um, battery grip just sat on top and that will actually take a um, caddy that will take two batteries so you can run so you can run around with two batteries in the camera so you uh, end up with more power it also has a um, an additional caddy and um, which can take normal double a batteries as well and um, which I'll show you shortly um, this thing here is the Canon um, well, EP EX15 2 eyepiece extender um, which just moves the eyepiece um, through the optical viewfinder away from the camera body slightly and it actually for me makes it easier to see the full the full frame in the optical viewfinder as well as the information of the exposure compensation bar, the shutter speed and aperture whereas sometimes depending on the angle that you hold the camera or the level you hold the camera up to your eye and um, with the standard viewfinder sometimes like, some of those can be slightly obscured it also helps keep your nose away from the LCD screen as well and um, so it prevents smudging so we'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how that one goes on first and we'll have a look at the battery grip so if I turn the camera around here you can see the normal eyepiece there it literally just slides off yeah, he says there we go and that's just the normal eyepiece cover the, the normal viewfinder is just as it is there and this literally just slots on top you might want to adjust the diopter which is this control here uh, once you've put it on and then the rubber surround then just slots on top and if I take the lens cap off I don't know what you'll be able to see there but, oh, there we go so it just sits a little bit further away okay uh, so next what we'll do is we'll pop the battery grip on so it takes two batteries just slots on there, we'll just move that box out of the way ok and this is the battery grip, it's the Canon BGE5 battery grip which will work with the Canon Rebel um, 450D and 1000D as well 500D also, uh, the 550 I believe needs a different battery grip because it actually takes a different kind of battery yeah, price of progress eh? ok so we'll just slot the batteries in here so that turns and locks now your battery tray or battery tray, battery door on the camera body actually just has a clip hinge which will just pull off like so ok and that conveniently stores in there I don't know whether you can actually see that there but it's actually slotted in there nicely and then the camera body will then accept the battery grip like so and then you can just close that on the wheel which will tighten it up, it doesn't have to be really really tight because you can actually strip the gears and you'll end up having to drill the things off um, a friend of mine can test them out to that so you just thumb tight and you're good Okay. now what the battery grip gives you um, other than a longer shooting life um, is also uh, additional controls here now the battery grip has its on, on and off switch if I power the camera up, that's powered up, still using the two batteries but the battery grip buttons are turned off, they won't respond ok now if I turn the battery grip on and we see here the buttons will actually respond so if you're shooting in landscape mode and then you quickly want to change to portrait mode you can do by holding the battery grip like so rather than having to come over the top of the camera and it actually provides a better grip, it actually improves the grip also in generally hand holding the camera 
like so. Certainly with heavier lenses, so the 24 to 105, 70 to 200, and so forth. I feel it because it's uh, it's not the biggest of camera bodies, and um, the 500D. So depending on the size of your hand, I prefer I, I find it actually improves the grip as well. Now it's got the exposure compensation button here. It's also got a roller control wheel at the front. Okay, you can also lock exposure, change your focus point also as well. So pretty much the same thing you can do just using the camera body. And as you can see here, it also has a shutter button. It's normal half press. It'll focus. And press. It feels very similar to the button on the actual camera body. So uh, that's what I generally walk around with. It's, always, it's usually always attached to the camera, although I did remove it for the tutorial videos that I've been doing, just so it didn't confuse matters. Um, it also has a tripod mount on the rear, as well as a lanyard connection there. Um, should you wish to fit a different kind of um, strap. Okay, so that's uh, the battery grip. Now the additional tray that it comes with is, I've got it over here, even in the wrapper. There we go. That's it. Just take some normal AA batteries. You could use rechargeable batteries in there if you've got a separate charger to charge them up. Um, and generally, I keep it in the kit bag. Certainly, the main kit bag, just as an emergency, because you can pretty much get AA batteries anywhere. Um, and you may well carry some if you use flash guns that are spare. So if you run out of power, you can slap some of those in, change the tray over, and you're back to shooting again. So that's uh, the two main accessories I've got. Um, for the camera, the Canon EPEX 15-2 eyepiece extender and the BG E5 um, battery grip. I um, mean, of course, I've got additional kit lenses and flashes and so forth, but I'll uh, cover those in a separate video because um, we're up to seven minutes on this one already. And, uh, cheers for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye.